Back in 2017, I went on a family vacation to Fairfield Bay, Arkansas. We were staying in a raised cabin. I was maybe 5'7 at the time and could comfortably stand under it. I had a golf hole for a golf course behind, which was alongside of a forest. The first day we were there was great. We went back to the cabin, and we got our stuff unpacked. I was staying in the loft above the living room. It had windows above the roof to look out of like a split-level roof situation. I turned off the TV and went to bed, no problem. I woke up in the middle of the night for no reason. I lay on my side so I have a straight shot out the window across from my sister. In that window was this pale, emaciated humanoid thing sitting on the lower roof. I froze in fear, willing myself not to move in fear that this thing would try to get in. It kept its hands around its face, like people do, trying to see out a window into the dark. It sat there and just watched for a minute that felt like an eternity until the thing turned and crawled on all fours down the side of the cabin, presumably back to the woods. I sat there, still frozen for another minute or two, just to be sure that this thing was gone. The only thing keeping me from running to my parents' room was that the entire living room was lined with curtainless windows, and the thing just crawled down that way. I had to turn the TV on to get back to bed that night. The thing was about child size, and I am positive an adult would have problems scaling that cabin. You can imagine how sleeping in that cabin felt for the other five days. I couldn't sleep in my parents' room because they didn't believe me. They said it was just a bad dream, but it wasn't because the TV was still on when I woke up. I had to sleep there for the rest of the trip, waking up at around the same time every night, then having to turn on the TV just to get back to sleep. I carried the fear of this thing for years, thinking I would see it in my basement window or down the street from me when taking out the trash at night. Watching shows with things that looked like that almost put me to tears. And trust me, I don't scare very easily. That is, until I found more information about it. I don't feel as much of that fear now, but it's still there, always at the back of my mind. Thank you for reading. It makes me feel so much better about this event, whether I can just talk about it to you or anybody. I don't normally encourage this type of stuff, and have always been a firm ignorance is bliss kind of guy. I've seen ghosts before, and spirits, and it never really bothered me, because simply, I would just shut it out and carry on with my day. However, there is one encounter that I have never been able to forget, and it still freaks me out to this day. I live in the UK, and used to live in a nice area just outside of a big city. It was sort of in the countryside, but not. There was always this one part of the woods that just gave weird vibes. Unexplainable, and the feeling that you shouldn't be there. 1420. Me and a few friends thought it would be a good idea to go to the spot, as we referred it to, and get set up in a tent and have a good time. It probably got to around 1 in the morning, and being tired and stoned, I decided to just walk home, since I lived 10 minutes away. I remember I left by myself, and started on the path home. The area where we had set up was wooded, a lot of high bushes and a good mile away from any house. It's also near an army firing range. I don't know if this is important. I remember walking down the path, flashlight on my phone shining the way. When I felt what I can only describe as pure fear, it felt like my whole body was telling me I had to leave this area as fast as I could, or else I was going to end up dead. Now, I know this could have been weed making me paranoid, but when I used to smoke, 
I never experienced anything like this. I started running as fast as I could, and I could hear what sounded like galloping running behind me. I couldn't see it, but I could feel it, and I could feel it was getting closer to me and that I was in imminent danger. I managed to get to the clearing, which was about a hundred meters near the main road, and as soon as I got there, quickly turned around to see what it was chasing me, and I just remember seeing this tall, pale, bony creature standing still at the top of the clearing, watching me closely. It must have been easily eight feet tall, had massive eyes that reflected light. I never told anybody what I saw, simply because I knew nobody would believe me. And every time I walked past that clearing, I still felt like I was being watched. However, a few years later, my friend and I were discussing paranormal events. I told him what had happened, and we decided to go there. Luckily this time during the day and light. We got to the area and ventured in deeper, only complaining we got a weird vibe, but nothing to be concerned about. However, as we got deeper, we came across what can only be described as a tunnel of trees that led to a round clearing with a single tree growing in the middle. Nothing else. All other vegetation was dead. As we started to walk through this tunnel, what can only be described as a face appeared through the vegetation, staring at us. We both got a good look at it, and we saw a long sunken face, large jet black eyes staring at us with slits for a nose. We bolted and got out of there. To this day, we haven't spoken about it, and I just want to know what it was. Somehow, I know it was watching and observing. It was definitely predatory. It is a thing of pure evil. I can feel it. So, this story is from a few years ago, but me and my mother remember every single detail of what happened, and I would appreciate some advice. I am almost 100% sure I saw a skinwalker, but the location just doesn't add up. Could this be a crawler? I was about in 7th or 8th grade at the time, and me and my mother were driving home from a therapy, approaching a mine. It was winter and a full moon, because I remember the snow glowing under the moon. It was only six, but really dark out because, you know, it's in the middle of winter time. So we're going about 55 miles an hour. That's when this thing crosses and stops in front of us. The only way I can describe it is that if you combined a deer, a dog, and a human, it stood about as tall as our windshield. It had the legs of what I can describe as a deer, and its back was hunched over and walking on all fours. It appeared to have the head of a dog, but it didn't have the ears or dog nose. But its eyes were white, and it did not have a tail. The freakish thing about this creature was its skin. It wasn't a canine with mange or anything. It had actual human skin, all the way down its legs, too long to be dog legs. It smelt of rotting meat, and some parts of its flesh appeared broken open, like if you would scrape your knee really bad. It was pale white, and you could even see its veins. This thing, it was fast, like it stood there and just ran across the road in the blink of an eye. Me and my mother had to pull over to calm down. We both saw it. This sighting was in southeastern Ohio. Thanks to somebody else, I know what I believe now is that I saw a crawler. I haven't seen the creature since, but it still haunts me to this day. And on that highway, I'm scared to see it again. And I almost wonder how many others in the area have seen anything similar or even in other states, if there have been supposed similar sightings of what I've seen. I'm not exactly sure. 
Sometimes I even question myself, was I really just seeing things, or did this creature appear in front of us? As always, thanks.